Laura Roeder and I have a quick social media marketing tip for you to use for your small business. Always, always, always drive people from social media back to your website. Your website is so crucial to your social media marketing plan and here's why. Social media hasn't had a long history, but the history has never involved any sites sticking around, right? First we had Redster, then we had MySpace, right now Facebook and Twitter are the big sites. They could stick around forever or they could go away or become totally unpopular in a few months. I can't predict the future, I don't know. So I say this not to discourage you from using social media. I say get in while the getting's good. Right now these tools are a free way to market to your audience, to connect with people, to raise their hands, to hear from you. They're really powerful. But you have to remember that the tools do come and go. And even more importantly, you don't own those lists. You don't even have access to those lists. So if you've built up 50,000 Twitter followers, but everybody stops using Twitter or Twitter shuts down your account or whatever happens because you don't actually own that account, you don't actually own that list, you're going to lose all those people. Ouch, not very good for your business. So when you're on Twitter, when you're on Facebook, when you're on LinkedIn, you always want to send people back to your site. Post a lot of links, posting links to your blog is a good way to do that. Encourage them to go back to your site where you can then capture their email address in a database that is yours that you get to keep. Your email database is your long-term marketing gold mine that's going to outlast any social media tools that may come and go. So you use social media, it's a free, powerful marketing tool. I love it, but make sure you're driving people back to your site that you own to capture those email addresses.